Okay, this is I7, I7, and it's truth tables, and this one's going to be kind of fun. I like it. It's not a lot of thinking, so let's see what we can do with it. On a truth table, you are going to be given either this symbol or this symbol, and you could be given this symbol, okay? But um, if you get a house top, that is the symbol for and. So when we are, well, when we're reading something, we put and whenever we see that symbol. If you have and, and we're talking about truth tables, both have to be true for the and part to be true. And you're like, what are you talking about? We'll figure it out in just a minute, okay? If you have a V, we say or. If you have an or, one of them has to be true. And if one of them is true, then your or part is true. The way I remember it is if you have a house top and you you can make an A with it, and if you make an A, then that stands for and. So, house top is and, V is or. All right, one more thing to recall. This right here, we say not P or basically the opposite of P. So we'll get to that in just a little second too. Okay, this one is R or Q. So R or Q, and whenever you have an or, only one of them has to be true. In this case, both of them are true. So our or is true also. Okay, um, on this one, pretty much before we get into in, any deeper, they're going to give you, for the most part, a P and a Q or Q and an R, just depending on what they, they're doing. They're going to set you up. And so what it is, P can be true, and if P is true, Q is true. If P is true, Q could also be false, you know, we, just depending on what the statement is. Or P can be false, and Q can be true. Or P can be false, and Q can be false. So, if we know all of that, then this right here says not P. So, if P is not true, then it's false. If P is not true, then it's false. If P is false, then it's true. If P is false, then it's true. So that's just kind of setting that one up. On this one, it's Q and not P. So on here, what are those are Q, T, and then I put the and symbol. And what's not P? F on that line. And if it's an and, remember, both of them have to be true. So this answer is going to be false. So Q is false this time. And not P is false. So this one's going to be false. This one, our Q, is false, and not P is true, so since we have at least one false, it's going to be false also. So really, we were looking at these to be able to get the answers. Well, let me back up. This is Q and R. This is not Q and R. So if we already know what Q and R are, then 
The not part just means make it opposite. So this would be false because the opposite of true is false. These two are false, so these two would be true. Okay. We have Q and R, which would be this column. P, which would be this column. And we have an OR with it. So here, the Q and R is false, or the P is true. Is one of them true? Yes. So our answer is true. The Q and R is true, or the P is false. Or you just have to have one true, and we do, so that one's going to be true. On this one, the Q and R is false, or the P is false. So since both of them false, it's false, then the answer is going to be false also. Pretty much figure out what you're looking for. And don't look at anything but the columns that you have. Okay, so we have P, which is P. All of this is all of this. So you're just looking at those two columns. Here we have true. Our big question is an or. So true or false, we only have to have one true, so it's true. And then we're looking at, well, these two. Both of them are false, so it's false. What is not S? False, true, false, because I looked at those. And now I have to look at R. And not S. So true and false, which is false. True and true, which is true. False and false, which is false. Um, let's see what we have. Do we have? Not S or R? Yes. Do we have not S? Yes. So we're just looking at these. And it's an and. So it has to be both true. So this is false. This is false. And this is false. Not Q. So we're just looking at this one right now for the not Q. So false, false, and true. Now we're looking for all of this. I'm going to use these two. It's an and, so only both of them have to be true. None of them are both true. Oh, wait a minute. I looked at the wrong one. My bad. Let me back up here. So Q and R, so they're both four, or at least one of them is false, so it's going to be false. Okay. Now we have to think of it a little bit more. They're not giving us all the columns, only partial columns, and we have to think about it. So Q and P. The Q and P would be true, false, false, false. Let me write it down. True, false, false, false. Or P, which is true, true, false, false. 
So since only one of them has to be true to be true, this is true and this is true, which is how they got those. Both of these are false, so it's false. Goodness, I gave you a lot right here. Okay, um, not P is false, not P is true, not Q is false, not Q is false. Okay, so not Q or P. So false and true since it's an or. So what's R and S? R and S is going to be true. True. Right. True. False. 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 So when we put a not in front of them, all of these are going to be opposite. So this would be false, true, and true. And we're going to make our own truth statement, truth table, and figure out what's going on. So when you're making a truth table from scratch, this is what I suggest. So you're going to figure out truth, uh, P. If P is true, Q can be true. If P is false, true, Q could be false. P could be false, and that's true, and that's false, and that's false. Then you kind of go with it. So Q, P or Q, only one of them has to be one has to be true to be true. And then when we put the and with it, both of them have to be true. So there's only one. Nope, that's true too. And that's false.